This is example two from page 175 of the year one textbook. And it says, find the size of the smallest angle in a triangle whose sides have lengths three centimeters, five centimeters, and six centimeters. So we've got that sketch, sketched out here to help you just visualize that. And we can see fairly quickly that this is gonna be the smallest angle. But it's worthwhile noting that if you hadn't drawn out a sketch, the smallest angle is always going to be opposite the smallest side in the triangle. So that helps us straight away when we're trying to decide the orientation of our sides in the formula. So we're going to be working out angle C here. So we can write cosine C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2BC. And the side that's going to go at the end of this formula is going to be the one opposite the angle that we're interested in. It's quite common when students are using the cosine uh, rule to, to work out an angle, to actually work out an angle in the triangle, but actually accidentally work out a different one from the one they're actually interested in. So importantly in here, C is going to have a value of 3. It doesn't matter which way around the 5 and the 6 are for substituting into B and A. So let's continue with that. Cosine C equals 5 squared plus 6 squared take 3 squared over 2 times 5 times by 6. Let's start to work that out. Cosine C equals 25 plus 36 take 9 over 5 times 6 is going to be 30 times by 2 is going to be 60. So cosine C 25 plus 36 take 9 is going to be 52 over 60. I'm leaving it as a fraction because it's more accurate than trying to leave it as a decimal for when we try and work out what the angle is. So then we can do cosine to the minus 1 of 52 over 60 is going to give us our angle C, which is going to be 29.9 degrees to three significant figures.